Moving on to other stories. With the devastating outbreak of bird flu in 2011 fresh in everyone's minds here in Korea, the nation's government has announced preemptive measures to try and nip this latest outbreak in the bud at the earliest possible moment. Our Shin Zemin has the details. The movement of birds, farm workers, and vehicles at tens of thousands of farms across the entire nation will come to a complete standstill for 36 hours from the early hours of Saturday morning. This is the first ever nationwide lockdown on the transportation of poultry as the government tries to prevent the spread of bird flu. Korea's agriculture ministry says the movement ban will remain in effect from 6 a.m. on Saturday until 6 p.m. on Sunday. Some cattle farms are also on lockdown to prevent the spread of foot and mouth disease. That 36-hour window will be used to disinfect farms, buildings and vehicles used to transport animals. These measures will hopefully suppress the spread of the bird flu, as cases have been popping up in different parts of the country. This marks Korea's third large-scale attempt to decontaminate poultry farms and facilities since the first case of bird flu in this outbreak was confirmed last July. Also, for the first time, the government will penalize farmers who don't abide by the measures. The maximum penalty has been set at more than 9,000 U.S. dollars or possibly even a few months in prison. While there is understandable concern, the Agriculture Ministry notes that this is not considered a major bird flu outbreak yet, and the lockdown is just a precautionary measure. The bird flu is thought to come into Korea from migratory birds that come to the country during the winter months. There have been cases of bird flu dotted around the country with confirmed cases found in Korea's southwestern Cheollanamdo province, the southern city of Busan, and the central Gyeonggi-do province. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.